Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Fanta family. In this video, I'll explain you AC load line of BJT. In my earlier videos of this lecture series of basic electronics, I have covered DC load line. Here I'll be discussing about AC load line. See to understand AC load line, here I'll consider common emitter configuration. With common emitter configuration, we have already seen output characteristics. If you have seen output characteristics of common emitter configuration, then that characteristic was something like this, right? In which if you observe carefully this characteristic, then you see here we have saturation region where IC current goes high and VC voltage that stays low. If you observe this is cutoff region. So with cutoff region, VCE voltage goes high and IC current that stays low. In active region, IC current that stays constant, right? So that is our basic characteristic that we have already seen in earlier videos. So here from characteristic, you can understand one thing. See as if IC current goes high and if VCE voltage stays low at that time, transistor will be there in saturation region. If VCE voltage goes high and if IC current stays low, then you can say BJT stays in cutoff region. As if BJT stays in cutoff or saturation region, then there is a possibility of clipping of waveforms. So first of all, we need to understand, see, as and when we operate BJT at that time, it should get operated in active region. Otherwise, there is a higher chance of clipping of waveforms, right? So here, see, when it comes to common emitter configuration, then collector current IC is maximum that explains you transistor may go in saturation region and as if VC voltage that goes maximum, then transistor may goes in cutoff region. If you have seen my earlier videos based on common emitter configuration, so in which I have explained you output voltage equation. Let me write that again. Output voltage is VCE that is equals to VCC minus ICRC. That is the basic equation that I have already explained in common emitter configuration. Now with this output voltage equation, if you wanted to have maximum IC, at that time VCE should go down. And as if you wanted to have maximum VCE, at that time IC should go down for saturation and cutoff region, right? So here what I'll do is I'll explain you two different regions. See, if you have VCE max, at that time, you can have VCE max is equals to VCC provided IC current is zero. If IC current stays zero and as if VC is equals to VCC, what it means? BJT stays in cutoff mode. Cutoff mode means here there is no flow of current, right? And second stage is what? If you have IC that is maximum, if you have IC that is maximum and if IC is VCC by RC, then but obviously you can say VCE will be zero, right? But obviously VCE will be zero. So in this situation, you can say transistor is there in saturation mode. Right. And as if transistor stays in saturation mode or cutoff mode, then there are higher chances of clipping of waveforms. Right. Now, as if you want to plot load line, then you just need to join these two points in characteristics. That even I'll explain you step by step. Now, see if you join from IC max to VC max load line, then you will be having load line of that operating region of BJT. And 
with this load line whatever points are there those points are operating points of bjd that even i'll show you step by step right see if only dc bias is given to bjd then load line will be dc load line but if we give ac input and dc bias then load line will be ac load line right so basically here there is some confusion with students they are thinking like what is the difference in between dc load line and ac load line see in dc load line we have only dc bias like we give vcc along with we connect rc right so only dc bias is provided in dc load line in ac load line we give ac input along with dc bias right so in ac load line we have ac input along with dc bias while in dc load line we just provide dc bias right now let me draw load line over here so here for load line you need to have two points to draw a line right so when ic is max let us say ic is max over here what is the maximum value that is vcc by rc at that time vc that is zero right so here ic is max that is vcc by rc at that time you see vc is zero and second point that is vce max so vc max that is vcc over here at that time ic is zero you see vc max is vcc at that time ic is zero so these are the two points right now as if you join these two points as if you join these two points then you will be having load line right then you will be having load line now with this load line see here we have different points at which this characteristic is getting intersected right like you can observe here see at this point we have this green color characteristic intersection at this point this dark green characteristic is getting intersected at this point this gray color characteristic is getting intersected right so these are operating points so at this operating point you can understand one thing you see ib current that is varying with respect to which we have ic current and vc voltage right so these are operating points and this black color line that is load line now whether this is dc load line or ac load line that is purely based on what we apply over here with circuit if in circuit we have only dc bias then load line will be dc load line if we have ac input along with dc bias then this load line will be ac load line right here one more thing that you need to understand see as i have told you whenever you operate with transistor at that time transistor should not go in cutoff or saturation mode if it is going in that region then there are higher chances chances of clipping of waveforms so here see if you apply some input let us apply some input right and if you apply some input at that time waveform should stay in active region only let us say here we are applying some input so what i am going to do is i am going to consider a reference with respect to center first so here we are having center and i am going to consider reference with respect to center now if you observe here see here my waveform is appearing like this my waveform that is somewhat appearing like this so if it is appearing like this in that case you see this waveform will not get clipped why the reason is operating point that is there at center so here you see from here onwards let me consider a point so that you will be having fair enough idea see from this point onwards from this point onwards ib current goes down and after this point from here you see we have from here we have cutoff region right and if you observe here see line from here so if you observe this region then here 
we have saturation region so if operating point that goes out of this cutoff region or saturation region then waveform will get clipped let me show you one example for example if i consider this operating point if i consider this operating point right if i consider this operating point then if my waveform at output side that is happening like this that is happening like this right so in this situation if you observe see here waveform that is going beyond cutoff region so this much portion of waveform that will get clip right means this waveform will not appear at output side right why the reason is this waveform that goes in cutoff region so output cannot appear that portion will get clip so that is why we need to operate in active region only and that's why load line is very essential in ac load line we have dc bias along with ac input in dc load line we don't give any input only dc bias will be there that is how things are there otherwise load line that remains same for ac and dc i hope you have understood all those things still if anything that i would like to share please note it down in the comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video